A live look now from our Sky 12 drone. This is a live feed of storm damage in our area. Our News 12 meteorologists are out now in McDuffie County off of Foster Sprouse Road. There are pine trees uprooted or snapped and shingles torn off the roof there. Our meteorologists are out with the National Weather Service who's surveying that area for storm damage. No better look then from the sky. It's going to be interesting to see what that report shows, but we'll continue to follow this and bring you the information later. Also new information this midday from Governor Brian Kemp and other Georgia officials on the storm damage across the state. According to Governor Kemp, at least two people have died. One was a state employee responding to storm damage and the other was a five year old killed by a tree that fell onto a car. Uh, I'd like to just ask all Georgians to keep those that have experienced loss in their thoughts and prayers as the Kemp family and the rest of us will do. Uh, but also continue to pray for all of our first responders. We've got a lot of state workers out there in dangerous situations. In terrifying moments in Griffin, Georgia last night, this is outside of Atlanta. Crews tunneled into debris to rescue a man trapped after a tree fell on the home during the storm. So this video just shows the moment they were able to get him out and into an ambulance. Thankful for all of those first responders and the damage spans far beyond Georgia. Several people are dead after severe storms and tornadoes moved across the south. Omar Villafranca is in hard hit Marbury, Alabama, where the death count reached at least six in just one county. Oh my God. Shock and fear as a funnel cloud roars into sight. One of 35 reported tornadoes to strike the south Thursday. Oh my God, this is the building beside us. I can't describe, is it that? Montreal Cave's uncle and at least five others were killed when a reported tornado destroyed roughly 40 homes, shearing off roofs and shredding walls. I'm going to die. Oh, I have mercy. Officials say the same tornado also ripped through Selma, Alabama, while in Greensboro, this was my mom's house, y'all. This store in the Atlanta area was reduced to a pile of bricks and cinder blocks. That stuff can be fixed, but I'm glad n nobody got hurt. The roof of this house in Griffin, Georgia, landed on a vehicle parked outside. The powerful gusts uprooted trees and overturned big rigs on highways. <laughs> Across the south, there's been millions of dollars in damage. Crews in communities like Oak Village, Alabama, are picking up the pieces after being decimated. I've lost everything that I own, but other than that, I've got my life. Cleanup will take several weeks. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Marbury, Alabama.